Hi, I'm Lori Bernard Lowe with the Carroll County Out of the Darkness Walk. It's the first year we've bought the walk to Carroll County. It's for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. This is actually my second year doing a walk. Um, I lost my stepson 18 months ago. We got involved. We walked in Frederick County and we decided Carroll County needed it. So we bought it here to help raise awareness, funds, and education of suicide prevention. It's obviously a needed cause in the county. We have over 500 walkers walking today and we just want to help everybody and educate them that suicide is preventable. For more information, you can visit www.afsp.org. My name is Kara Burdett. I'm here with the Carroll County Out of the Darkness Walk. We're here raising money for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, the AFSP is an organization that um, raises awareness about suicide um, and how it can be prevented, as well as money for funds for programs that help survivors of suicide loss, people who are um, dealing with um, their own struggles with mental health issues. We're also here to raise awareness about mental health issues and to end the stigma um, that many people still feel about that so that we can talk openly about it. People should come out and uh, support the AFSP either today or at other walks in Maryland uh, over the next few weeks. Um, I will also walk in Frederick and Montgomery and we'll walk in DC as well later in October. Um, I became involved with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention three years ago when my brother took his own life um, and found great support with people who had shared experiences with me as well as a support group that has helped me through my grief journey. I'm Darren Lowe. I am the co-chairman for the first Carroll County Out of the Darkness Walk for the AFSP, which is the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. We uh, decided to start this walk last year after the loss of my son. We found the need in Carroll County that there was no representation for prevention. Uh, there was very, very little support and for therapeutic or anything. Uh, um, when we originally, my wife and I are the people that are that started this, with along with members of the AFSP. We are now members of the AFSP also. We wanted to just raise awareness and bring everybody together that is affected by this. Uh, it is definitely an issue that has needed to be addressed. Do and it is proven through our numbers that we have brought here, which. Originally, when we started this, that we expected like 200 to 250 people. We are going to probably be well over 600 people here today, which is amazing to me. I am just in awe of you know the support and everybody that's come together, you know, through you know a lot of public services and things like that. There's, it's just to me, it's amazing. I mean, I. I to put the best spin on a bad situation that I could possibly ever imagine. Uh, the Out of the Darkness Walk represents uh, the community coming together to raise awareness and raise funds to support the community in funding for, you know, awareness for, you know, different types of therapies, treatments, um, supports us for to be able to give talks and, and classes and things like that on suicide. It um, does a lot of things. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of resources out there that nobody knows that is there for them. And by bringing it to Carroll County, there was the awareness, and and nobody really knew that that was available. And through us and doing other events with the Out of the Darkness Walk and the AFSP, we have learned, you know, and and brought everything to Carroll County so that we are now all one big family in this and fighting it together. Hi, my name is Teresa. Um, I'm a volunteer here. This is my first year with Out of the Darkness. I suffered from depression and suicidal thoughts for 11 years in silence and this year I decided to come out 
and this is my way of helping and making sure that other people aren't as silent as long as I was. Hey, my name is uh, Ray Vanags. Uh, I'm the DJ today for uh, this wonderful occasion. Um, we say wonderful because it's bringing to light a seriousness of um, not just children, but overall people that might not be feeling very, very happy with themselves. Um, there's a lot of people who are afraid to speak up, are afraid to speak to somebody, and um, and this is the, this is this is a chance to bring light to maybe bring awareness to um, suicidal tendencies, suicidal thoughts, things where people don't think life is fair or they just, they need a friend, uh, they need someone to talk. This, this walk is to bring attention to this because just because you look at somebody doesn't mean, hey, they're smiling, doesn't mean they're hurting inside. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's the small little things that you can do. A simple thank you, hey, how are you? Um, you wanna go grab something to eat? Hey, how's life been treating you? Hey, I'm here to listen. I'm here to talk. You know, um, that's the importance because we never know how someone's feeling. You know, we all have this shell where we pretend like things are okay. And then internally, things are not okay. And for here is a time here to have the voice, to have the awareness, to bring attention, to just make people understand and maybe learn more uh, about not just this, but just people in general. Because the more and more you like, the more and more you know, and the more and more you feel, and the more and more you learn, maybe you can make a difference. And that's what these walks are for, especially today. Um, uh, with, with my situation, I've been able to talk with friends. I have a friend right now who's going through a really, really bad divorce. Um, he's not, and he reaches out to me. That's my, my awareness, that's how I listen, that's how I, I, I take my time to say, hey, I'm here for you. I know life's hard, but you know what? We can get through it. So that's basically why I, I'm here. That's the reason why I'm helping. Um, and, and what people can do is get online, Google, the, Google everything. Maybe ask a friend uh, that's how they're doing. Generally just spark up a conversation with a stranger. You never know, they might open up to you. And then what'll happen is, maybe you can get them more involved in what we're doing. And maybe they can get the help. Maybe they can feel a bit better and maybe they can see another side besides a doom and gloom. Because, you know, life's a merry thing. You get one life and you gotta make the best of it. Good, bad, and indifferent. Because there's people here that care about you, even the ones that don't know about you. That's about it. All right, uh, hi, I'm Brandon. Um, I'm here with my family uh, for suicide prevention. Um, it means a lot to me because I'm doing a walk for my brother. He passed away a little over a month ago. And this <laughs> Just want people to be aware, to look out for signs so something like this doesn't happen to you. Every 17 hours, a law enforcement officer ends their life by committing suicide. When you add all first responders, every six hours, a first responder ends their life through suicide. Every day, 22 military men or women end their lives through suicide. Do we have a problem? Absolutely. And so as your sheriff, I'm here to recognize that we do in law enforcement, first responders and the military. This is a wonderful event. It's very timely and appropriate. The money that's raised today will go towards treatment, education. It's an extremely important time to recognize that in this county and throughout our nation we have an issue. I want to thank uh, Lori and Darren uh, for putting this together. I think they're shocked at how many people are here. So am I. It's their first event. They did a fabulous job getting everybody through. It's a good day. 
an extremely good day. And obviously, um, not only does uh, suicide affect us as first responders, but apparently affects everybody. And I've had a chance to speak with an awful lot of you, and I recognize many of you, and uh, so it touches all of our lives. So that's what we're here today. The sun finally came out. It's going to be a good day. Myself and first responders that are here are going to lead the walk. So um, I'll turn it over to the next speaker, and then we'll get started here soon. But thank all of you for being here. Okay, so today we're going to have um, Sheriff DeWeese start the walk. We'd also like to have Smiles Last Forever, which is our largest team, and it's also in honor of a first responder. We would like them to be the first team to walk behind Sheriff DeWeese. So if everybody could kind of turn around and line up by the tree that's closest to the stoplight, like down further, so we can kind of thin the crowd out as we walk around the trail. There's directional areas the whole way around. Enjoy your walk. If you want to become a part of the AFSP or any involvement through uh, the Carroll County Walks or any part of it, you can contact uh, through uh, the AFSP.org and they will point you in the right direction and, and where you need to go and what you would like to do. There's plenty of opportunities available um, and there's definitely any, any help that it, it is appreciated, uh, me, myself. I am a volunteer through my own experience uh, that I had with my child, so that's how I got here. <laughs> 